Okay, couple of side notes before I start with this week's vlog. Firstly, I'm fully aware I'm in Christmas pyjamas. I cannot bring myself to get out of them. Um, they are the most comfortable things in the world and I'll probably be still in them next Christmas. Secondly, I am mid to late flu, so I'm really sorry if I sound like a troll. I'm quite coffee and, yeah, flu -y, you know, the, the norm, really. But, um, you know, power on. Onwards and upwards. Thirdly, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Hope you all had a good one. And there was a fourth one, and I can't remember what it was now. I'm sorry about the location of this week's vlog, but I honestly have nowhere else to really sit down and vlog on a personal level than in my son's bedroom. So, yeah. And fifthly, um, sorry for the face, but I'm off, I'm off work. Just off work, but I literally have no other time to film and I really, really want to do a vlog this week. So that's that. So that's five side notes. Now we can get on to the real business. Doing you, silly bear. I'm joined by Buddy Bear. He's going to join us in this week's vlog. When I wanted to do vlogging, uh, I've, obviously I've wanted to do vlogging for a very long time. But when people ask me, what kind of vlogging are you going to do? I said, I don't know. Um, I just wanted to do that. Like, I just called it life vlogging because I really didn't know. I've got quite a lot of... I've got quite a lot of interests and obviously you never really know until you start vlogging you know what direction you're going to take and I suppose it's the same with a lot of things sort of like jobs or careers or whatever. Because I have so many things I like doing I said yeah life vlogging I'm just going to vlog day to day things and I know lots of vloggers do that you know and then you have to think about sort of what subject you're going to do or what you're going to vlog about and um, I think I've done six vlogs now. Uh, and I've enjoyed doing every single one of them. I've enjoyed planning, you know, what vlog I'm going to do and getting excited about it and, you know, uh, all that kind of thing. But it's still lacking in direction. Obviously, when I first started doing the vlogs, I did say to all my friends and people around me who I wanted to tell that I wasn't going to be very, 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 very personal because obviously I don't want, you know, all of my personal details all over the internet. I feel like... I want to take it to a personal level. I feel like, although I've really enjoyed the vlogs and I've had brilliant feedback and things, that I I want to take it to a personal level. Um, so yeah, on that note, uh, I'd like to tell you a bit more about myself. Um, I I am actually 29 in a few weeks, would you believe it? I have looked quite young in my life, which I think is a compliment, apart from if you do look young, it's actually, it's it's very lovely to look young, to a point, because I get ID'd everywhere, and I get, oh, you don't look that old, like, from everyone, and it, it was fine, until it's, like, every day, and you're like, yes, I am 28 slash 29 now, so yeah, that's one thing about me, is that I am, oh, very much older than I look, um, secondly, what I didn't want to do is waffle on too much about my beautiful son Toby and I felt you know when I first started vlogging I said oh no I don't want to don't want to bore everyone with my son all the time but he is he is my life and he and my world centers around my son let's cut to the chase basically I I am a single mum um I, uh, I do work full-time. I, I would say well, it's part-time, really, but I think it's kind of full-time. And what I want to do is appeal to single parents, uh, mothers, fathers, aunts, uncles, whatever. Um, yeah, I want to target that audience. I want to reach out to people. I want to help you. You I mean, know, I just want to be there for, for people to see that it's not bad, that you can do it. You can do it on your own. Because um, that's the reality, and it is hard to juggle a job and a child... I live on my own, apart from with Toby. Toby is with me like half the week and he sees his dad the other half. You, you don't get any let up if you're not at work. If I'm not at work, I'm with my son. If I'm not with my son, I'm at work. And you know, you can't really, not that I'd want it any other way, but you can't really do anything you used to do, you know, when you have a child. So, and I don't know if I'm doing it right, I don't know what I'm doing, you know, we, we don't know, none of us do, we just wing it, we just sort of hope for the best really, and we want the best for our children, but there aren't any books or anything, you can't advise people how to raise a child, you just have to do as you see fit, and that's what I'm trying to do. I, 
I have recently moved into this flat that I'm with, um, that I'm in now. One of the hardest things for me is, is, is making a house a home and I'm desperate to make this place. I In my head, like, oh my god, I'm on Pinterest all night, <laughs> just being like, oh god, I've got colour schemes, I know exactly what I want to get, I know exactly what I want to look like, what I want the rooms to look like, it's just getting there. When you're on your own, um, the struggle is real, <laughs> as the saying goes, uh, hashtag, the struggle, the struggle is real. Um, it's just finding the money to do that because you do need money and um, it, I know it takes a long time but getting there is you know it's really hard and that's so that's it really um instead of doing these random vlogs now I just wanna I want this whole thing is a journey and it's a journey for me to do this vlogging I want to give you an insight into my life um, and that's what I want to do I want you to see that um, like I said it's not all gravy I want to show you you know the hard the hard the hard times and just show you that you're not alone if you are experiencing this the same as me and I feel like you know if you know that someone else is going through the same thing as you it might help um, it might help you along the way or in any way I can um, let's let's just do it together so yeah we'll go on this journey I'm I'm a single mum I'm a newly single mum I think it helps me now to be more open um, with you about my situation but I've always been a very positive person and I feel that that might brush off and help you become you know more positive about the situation you might be going through or experiencing and and if you feel like you're on your own you're not believe me you're not alone um, you know we can do it let's do this on our own let's try and do this so yeah, this isn't going to take overnight, this is going to take a long time and I really would like you to come with me on, on that journey and and we'll, and we'll do it together and, you know, and go through times together and that'll be great for me and hopefully for you um, to have some support. <laughs> so yeah, that's it and I'm sorry it's been boring, I do apologise for the state of myself but I wanted to be honest. So you know a few more things about me and... Um, and let's just see what happens along the way and how we can do this we can do this together so thanks for watching that's it really a bit of a short one but i just wanted to get that out there and um please continue to subscribe and like and all that things because it's it's just going to get better it's just it's just as i say a million times it's just it's just a little journey we can go on together and, and it'll be great and fun so yeah i will see you in a couple of weeks and i hope you have a great fortnight Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.